Hey guys, what's up? Hi, oh so mister. You're fantastic. Thanks for coming. Solid Baked gets notification. Mike is streaming. I am close to creaming. Uh, you know, sometimes I wonder how lit literal that, that, that type of thing is, and it's it's hard. It's hard to think about and stay focused, you know? It's, it's like, it's... Come on. Come on, man! Who else is here? Uh... Second Butthole says, I love Mike so much. Ah! I love you so much. Ah! Thank you for coming here, man. Hope you're having a good night. Less than two days, Gay Vulture. Less than two days, you. <laughs> What's he mean by that, Fry Man? Two days, you. I know, I'm looking forward to it, dude. Dr. Reed is here. Mighty Waffle. Hi, HS Kill Jam. What's up? Muscles Meaty Beast. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Look who dragged themselves out of the fucking gutter of society. Muscles Meaty Beast, thank you for coming here tonight. Look who dragged themselves out of the septic tank of humanity with fucking liquid shit streaks behind them all the way. Thank you so much for coming. What's up, Lamango? No, I don't want to see your picture, Lamango. Lamango laid down the law on Twitter about fruit sonas the other day. I'm scared. Don't cross this man. He'll shut you the fuck down. Is that what you want everybody to see, Lamango? The fruit sona rules? By the way, I have to do a a, uh, a fruit sona tonight, and I'm not looking forward to it. Please help me. Help. I don't want to do them anymore. How do I get out of this? I want out. In any case, uh, I'll deal with it when, 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 when I have to. I'll probably do it after this. I'll try to, I'll try to squeeze one out like a little... Like a little, a little fruit-shaped turd. Meanwhile, in memes, it is Sunday, August 27th, uh, 2017, and the current time is 7.05. You guys want to make the fruit sonas for me? That might be awesome. Yeah. That way I don't have to. Yes, let's get started. Police! Now, it is the fireworks show. Oh, I was supposed to make the... I forgot to make the fucking fireworks again. Shit! Shit! Fuck! Fuck! Not happy. It's all right. I got some mail too. Let's see who the mail's from. Pietro. Oh, he got something for me. I did him a favor the other day. He told me he was gonna send me a clown job in the mail. Let's. This is the clown sheep. In case you don't know who, who Pietro is. I thought I fucking. I was about to scream because I thought I threw the present out. Nah, it's all good. I got a bird bath. <laughs> No birds exist in this universe, Pietro, unless, of course, they're giant fucking gross anth anthropomorphic furry birds. But they're not... What do you call somebody who's... Their, 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 um... Their fursona is a burb. A beaksona? Did we... I feel like we had this conversation. Squirrelicious says, hi, wear whiskey. Hi, Squirrelicious. Sorry you couldn't come by or whatever the reason is you're saying hi. Let's see if we can see some of the fireworks real quick. Avian? Avian Sona? So what do you call it? Bur burb Sona? Yeah, I can't believe I forgot the fireworks. There's fucking, um... This is the last... The last summer. Uh, sorry, the last... Yeah, this is the last summer before the apocalypse. Oh, what was that? Oh. Oh my. Those were odd. So this is the last, the last day of the summer where you could do the you could do the fireworks show. So I wanted to make sure I squeezed it in for you guys. Solid Bake says that was a penis. I didn't see a I didn't see a penis. What do you, you saw a penis? 
I see a penis. That'd be. What are you? What are you? What are you trying to say? You trying to say that there's a fucking penis firework in Animal Crossing? Grow up! Come on, they wouldn't do that. This is a children's game. It's clearly that's not what that is. I mean, I didn't make it because you know I told you I forgot, and obviously I wouldn't do it because I'm a 31 year old man. So you know. Grow up. What can I say? All right, obviously I made them, but there's there's a third one that I made that I haven't I haven't seen yet. There it is. <laughs> Hold on a minute. All right, I, listen. I know that it's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but I tried. It's not it's really sloppy looking kill jam, I know. There he is. It's like, it's okay. It could be better. I wish I kind of, I, I wasn't looking at it when I, when I drew it. So, yeah, that probably would have helped if I looked at it while I was drawing it, but I didn't, I said, I, I drew them all, all of them, uh, while I was shitting. So what you're seeing here, you're seeing art that was done like, you're seeing a labor of love, like a late because I was labored because I was forcing out dukes. You know what I mean? It's definitely got character on seal. Definitely not bland or uninteresting. Yeah, I kind of want to see it again, TBH. I kind of only got to see the squan dog the one time. Let me see more squan dog. It's kind of bullshit. I feel like the majority of these should be the ones that I that I made. Yeah, I made a be a beans, a can of beans. I had no idea, like, how they were going to show up. I guess I'm okay with that. Like, they, they look they look kind of cool. I thought they were going to look like that. I was like, what are they going to do? The outline of it? That's why I made the backgrounds white. Because I figured it would just be the outline of whatever you, whatever you drew. Yeah, it's ba bathroom art, you know? Therapeutic bathroom art, Red Mist. What's up, by the way, dude? Barrios Blade wants to know if I used a reference for the penis. Um. What penis? No, the good news about that one is that it was already made. Hey, Savannah, what's happening? I don't remember if- did I do a voice for this? Whatever, fuck it. Listen, I- this- see, you know what pisses me off about that? I decided to talk to you, okay? And then, the, the first thing you say to me, and yeah, we haven't spoken in a while, and I think to myself like, Oh yeah, you know what, let's talk. And the first thing out of your mouth is you guilt me about not talking to you that entire time. Now I'm gonna go even longer without speaking to you again, because I'm afraid you're gonna do it again. Sometimes human interaction can be a very subtle art. If you haven't talked to somebody in a while and you wanted to talk to them, don't shame them. Don't try to fucking make them feel guilty about the fact that they haven't spoken to you in, in a while because that's going to make them want to talk to you less. Common sense, people! Where Whiskey had Savannah in his very first GameCube town. Well, no shit. Yeah, I like the I like the ze the zebra. Kind of wish she was a, a human a human zebra centaur, like like in Freddy Got Fingered. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna plug Freddy Got Fingered again. I feel like I do this almost every. Oh, I don't think so, fucker. I don't think so, fucker. Nah, son. Yeah, bitch! Now what? That was clutch. I was worried. This is a new villager, so I gotta come up with a stupid voice for him. He's a goat. Just in case you didn't know, all you gotta do is look up at this guy, press up. That's a fucking stupid... 
Mike, you have to look at Lamango's picture. All right, give me, give me the fucking, give me, give me the fucking picture. Go ahead. Here's a labor of love. Ju okay, Lamango. All right. I did see this in the Discord. I want to know what. I want to know where it came from. I want to know where you got it. I want to know what it is, where you got it. I want to know everything about it. Thank you for the bits, Snarky Sharky. Spider Bipe. Don't let that spider pop you. Spider pop hurt. It's <laughs> good. Someone drew it for you? Who drew it for you? This is really fucking disturbing. To the point where, like, I almost don't want to put it in the in the in the OBS. But it is something that I could see Mr. Blobby doing very, very easily. And Mrs. Blobby is here, and there's a baby blobby, and what? You know what? You can all you can all click the, the link. Yeah, it's 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 SFW. It's just got some like disturbing gore things happening in it, but it's not uh it's not anything like pervy. It's just fucking weird. It's just disturbing, honestly, is what it is. What are they what is the the, the bonfire out the window? Yeah, <sighs> whatever. All right. So here's what we got. We got Mr. Blobby, Mrs. Blobby, and I, I get I didn't know there was a baby Blobby. Maybe maybe it's a new a new uh a new creation. Uh so there's a bucket of blood. Uh Blobby looks like he's putting up wallpaper. It looks like it's a a home renovation thing that's that's taking place here. Uh with the Blobbies. Like they just moved in and they're sprucing the place up. They're doing it with some man's flesh like where did they get flesh paper for the walls and why does it look like it's just it's all it's exclusively like older balding men with facial hair that are being used for wallpaper the baby is eating intestines who's the guy in the in the cage why is it so much of this like oddly specific lamango and yeah, what's in the what's in the what's the bonfire about? Am I did I get dinged? I thought I got dinged. I thought Savannah was trying to give me a fucking public works project. All right, Lamango, I I've had I've had no answers. Oh, let's make a deal because he was on. Let's make a deal. Is that right, Gay Vulture? I guess that can hang out like right like right there. That's okay. I mean it's it's stuff that I could easily see Blobby and Mrs. Blobby doing. Shigin Shindig and Heist is here, he says, I telling you it actually happened. I would expect nothing less from the Blobby family. Oh, I forgot to talk about what I'm wearing. Um I got a haircut because I got annoyed with the stupid haircut you guys made me get. And I also got a white tux. And I think I look pretty snazzy, but... I do owe you guys a haircut. Now... We're gonna do it the same way we did last time. Thank you for the bits, Wazaka. Oh, the dude in the cage is the host from Big Fat Quiz Show, because Blobby was on the Big Fat Quiz Show, right? More than once, right? Oh, various guys that guest starred with him in the short. Alright, good, good. Good. Disturbing blobby lore. Blore be stupid. Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. If you want a makeover, sit down in my chair in front of the machine over there. Go ahead, sugar. Go ahead, do it. Watch out for the phlegm. Alright, we want a hairstyle. And... Yeah, she's been chain-smoking uh, in, in, in here. Uh, 
Carencio. My level of interest is negative 46%, Meaty B says. In in, in what? <laughs> in the blobby art or the or the getting a haircut thing? Or j life in general? So if you're saying life in general, it's, right now it's probably like a solid like negative 80, 87%. Solid 87. We all know what a solid 87 looks like. All right, so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a haircut because I owe you guys one, and there is the possibility of doing the girl's haircut, but I don't think you guys want me to do that this time because the last two times I let you give me a haircut, you gave me a girl's haircut. So why not why not just branch out a little bit, go for the go for the man's haircut this time. Unless of course you really don't you really don't want me to. It's all up to you. CW Rocks gave me one bit, thank you. No one is usually the last time I did this, the chat was filled with people saying, you know, fuck Oh You know I didn't tweet this stream, I should probably do that. A lot of people exclusively get notifications from, from Twitter. Maybe that's why there's like maybe this is why it's it's a fucking ghost town right now, per, ch per chance. Or maybe I just suck. Nobody wants to come to my streams. It's probably a little bit of column A and a little bit, a little bit of column B. Animal Crossing. I knew I forgot to do something, and I typed M6000W. There we go. Tweets out. Maybe that'll be a thing. Decapitated. What's up, man? He says, people come because you suck. Well, I could be worse. I mean, I could try less. Do you want that? You think that'd get more people in here? Good night, Jergy. Thank you for coming. Nobody is saying what they want me to do for the for the hair. Really? Everybody was so fucking, like, freaking out about this last time. People fucking went nuts for this shit. Now nobody gives a fuck. Really? Don't do the boy one because I said that you want me to do the boy one. Dude, be honest with yourself. And with me. I do need a real life haircut, Gay Vulture. It's getting, it's getting gross right now. I have a little bit of a fro, a fro going. But like my fro does this this weird thing, like cause my my hair also happens to be very like heavy at the ends of it. So it goes out like the beginnings of a fro go out, but then it just kind of flops down on the on the ends. Like it weigh it, it's my hair weighs itself down, so it just looks like a disgusting mess. I really gotta stay on top of haircuts. Thank you for the bits also, mister. Hi, poor Selena. I'm having a great day. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for coming tonight. Okay. All right. So you guys, you guys want the, the fuck boy haircut? Okay, we'll do a fuck boy haircut. Okay. So not happening. Tanichu wants to know why the screen is flashing slightly green. I don't see that. Does anybody else see that? There's more bits from Oso, Mister. Thank you, dude. Just forget I said anything. <laughs> no, I'm going to hold this against you forever. Alright. So just shout it in chat. Whatever I think I see more of, I'll do the, I'll do the one that I think I, I see more of. Did you guys see my Twitter uh, al algorithm picture? This was a, this was a, f a fun thing. Um, apparently, Twitter compiles your your interests. Like it it takes note of like I guess the articles that you're reading and stuff, and it compiles a big list of what it thinks are your your interests. F formal seventy five percent formal ca castle. Larvesta bot says castle. 
casual AF. Maximum formal. Formal all the way. Formal. Alright. I see what I have to do. Almost, almost 100% formal. There we go. You guys are gonna make a boring haircut tonight. I got a sub from Decapitated. Welcome to the family, Decaps! I'm gonna call you Decaps. It's fucking stupid. You should be proud of the stupid name I'm giving you. Alright, so is this for business or pleasure, chat? Or maybe both. There's actually no option for both. It's gotta be one or the other, so... So if you're not if you're not on Twitter and you didn't you didn't see this. Uh hold on a minute. Pleasure I see more pleasure. So I'm going bro that private is what you is what you mean. Right? Private pleasure, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> Do tell sugar, knowing your <laughs> dresser for a private occasion inspires me to work even harder. But I want to make sure I don't make a mistake and get carried away. So I'll ask one more thing Is this a private occasion, a party with lots of people, or is it a uh, <laughs> an orgy? Or is it a secret? That's the orgy. That's the orgy answer. It's a secret. So these are some of my interests according to Twitter. Uh, computer programming. I think I maybe read like one article of computer programming. A secret date with Nip Nip. Do you think that's what, what's going on, Dr. Reed? Secret. Is it a pep secret? Sprood? What's up, Sprood? Sprood, my chude. What's up, Brood? Thanks for coming tonight, Sprood. I like that name a lot. Yeah, I got data mined. Um, I got data mined hard, deep into my bunghole. Computer reviews. Console gaming, obviously. Yeah, so the one the one of of interest here is dads. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. What what did I what did I I click on to get it to say dads? Does it does it does it think I'm a dad or does it think that like I like dads? Which is yeah, I have several several questions. I get <laughs> I have several questions. They want to set me up with dads in my area. <laughs> Maybe I am a dad. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. I'm a dad. Maybe it's one of those things where, like, when I was in, when I was sowing my wild oats, when I was abroad, like when I was in Europe and stuff, they got like, I got some children. You know what I mean? Hanging out, not knocking about over there. I did not play Daddy, uh, Dream Daddy, Dra Dragoon Me. I do own it. Someone bought it for me, but I have not played it. Local dads want to fuck in your area. Documentary, I guess. I, I, I'm sure I looked at an article that was documentary. Entrepreneurship. I don't, what does that mean? I know, I mean, I know what it means, but what are they? Fashion and beauty, obviously, no idea why. No, I'm not, I'm not, you know, not secretly, you know, into drag or anything like that. <laughs> nope, never mind that one. Also, financial news. I follow Forbes on Twitter. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe it's simply I, because I follow Forbes. 
They they said that. I mean, I have not, I'm not I'm not constantly reading financial news. I think it's basically who you followed. That's what makes the most sense to me. Oh my! I hope you don't think it'd be rude for asking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I offended you. <laughs> In that case, I'll give you a style that should work either way. Now then. You need to pick out a hair color. What kind of color really speaks to you? They, they, because I'm broke. P plus, I'm broke, Superfly. So it's even more fucking confusing. All right, it's gone. Bad, bad man gone now. Bad man. Shh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone now. Gold Ruby Production says fashion equals drag. Yeah, I guess I could be buying makeup because, you know, like, I'm in a band and I want to get all fucking, like... Billy Joe Armstronged up for the next performance, perhaps. All right, what are we doing? We're doing natural, intense, or or bright, or none. Sick today's back. Are you still sick today? Went on a, on a little a little vacay for sick today. Intense, intense. I see a lot of intense. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of seeing a lot of intense. Okay, we're going intense. For intense colors, how about what are the following? <laughs> she just fucking spits like a fuck phlegm wad onto the floor in the fucking beauty salon. It's also got, you know, like, shit in it because she's a dog and she probably licks her asshole. Right, so I have five options here. So for five options, that's hard. I probably got to do a straw poll for five for five options. Anybody want to throw up a, a, a straw poll for, for a bro? A bro poll? Can I get a bro poll, bro? Bro, let me get a bro poll. Thank you, I'm Seal. You the man. Get a brew poo. One option is something else. Well, what? Well, fuck. Yeah, I didn't even realize that, Fanchi. What's up, Fanchi? Good to see you tonight, by the way. What's, uh, what is, what if, what's something else? Do I get more options? Should we include those in the, in the straw poll? Gotta pay the troll toll to get into the bro pole. Something else just takes you back to the options. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So straw poll. Let's see how it's how it's going. This is important business, by the way. Don't think this is trivial. Moody. Moody in 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 the in the lead by a stretch. Forty percent of the vote going to Moody. Again, a vote for something else is you throwing your vote away. Moody in the lead, followed closely by C. Followed up neck and neck with Love, and bringing up the rear is Forest. Thank you for the bipe, Snarky Sharky. More bipe. You're a bipe machine, huh, Snarky? Thank you so much. Okay. Love, shockingly, covering up the distance here. Closing that gap. Did close the gap for a second there. And I think we could call it here. I'm seeing Moody as the clear winner at this time. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Moody. Faux show. Sure. Understood. Now I know exactly what you want. Let's start styling, sugar. Let's see what we get. Oh, because you knew it was going to be pinky fucking assholes? Alright. 
Ta-da! Yep, you look both fabulous and totally different. That'll be 3,000 bells. Oh, I gotta return your shit. Here you go. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come back anytime, sugar. All right, nice. So, now that we got all the people here, looks like there's a decent amount of people here. We also have all the mods here, which is important. There is something that I want to I want to talk about. I have an announcement. Tonight is the the, the first night I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to bring this up. I have been planning uh, with some other some other streamers that I've I've met and and befriended in my um, in in my doing this uh, around the Vine Sauce community, uh, one of them being Desert P, who just hosted me. Thank you so much for the host, Desert P. Can I please have a shout out for Desert P? Desert P, please. Okay, we have been planning a charity event. Uh, to be held on the weekend before Halloween, so October 27th and 28th. I have to double check this just because I'm paranoid that I'm telling you the wrong thing. October, October 27th and 28th, we're holding a two-day charity event, charity uh, stream vaganza, stream vag stream vaganza. Okay. For the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Which is um, something we all we all uh, we all decided on together and feel feel pretty pretty strongly about. Um, the name of the event, and I think this is brilliant. And this was this was this was an idea suggested by by Great Zot. Who will also be one of the streamers uh, joining us? Ready for this? I mean, I shit my pants when he said this. I was like, "Dude, that's got to be the name of it." Stream of conscience. I love that. I think that's fucking brilliant. Like that's saying exactly everything. It's a stream. Streamers doing a stream. Streamers with a with a conscience. Streaming about something that. It's fucking that's important and they care about. I'm gonna be joined by Desert P, Great Zot, Vijabum, also known as Jeff Reds. He's many a man of many aliases, the Vijabum. The Monotonist, Gearmatic, Norix Wolf. Now I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. CZ Backlash. But, uh, potentially, probably, leaning towards yes. Pending people's schedules and stuff. Hey, Desert, did I, did I, did I fucking forget? <laughs> I forget somebody? I'm paranoid that I forgot somebody now. It's a good crowd. Good, good, um... Good guys, I, uh, I, I handpicked them. Um, you know, dudes, dudes that I felt like fucking, like, you know, cared about shit. Guys that really contributed very, very, very heavily to making the, the Vine Source PCRF thing a, a, a reality. Um, and working like really, really fucking hard and, and really selflessly. To making that event huge and and successful, so I said I I'm who do I who do I want to do this with? I want to do this with people who who were fucking battle tested, people that I that I know personally on on a level that where I feel like they're cool, and uh, there there we go. Did I just? Desert, did I? I got every. Oh, Plushy resubbed. Welcome back to the family, Plush. Chunder, Chunder cunts for charity. No, this is. 
we went we went classier. There are going to be elements of it that are that are not uh, that are not classy, as as you as as you will see. But generally, we're going to keep it mature. I'm going to try to clean up my my humor, my act a little bit for the stream. I'm going to I'm going to try to I'm going to try to take it down to like maybe you know from NC17 to R, just because it is. <laughs> It is it is it is a charity event. I I can't be talking about, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog sucking his own dick. We can't be doing any any of that stuff during the charity. I I feel like just a little bit. No, fishy. Just just a, just a little just a little just a little bit. Um so I'm saying uh you know, it don't feel like uh it, it's awesome, obviously, if you're gonna be able to donate. We want it to be huge. We want to try to we want to try to raise as much as we can, obviously. Um, so if you can't come by anyway, you know it'll be a good time. We got events. This is one of the things I'm really I'm really excited about. We're gonna do a pumpkin carving event. We're gonna live stream carving pumpkins. We're thinking of ways like we can make it like an IRL thing, but we're gonna try to make it a little competitive. I'm thinking like. We all get an image, and we all have to carve it in, like, a certain amount of time. A couple of hours. No speed carving, so nobody fucking slices their own finger off. But whoever comes the, clo the closest to it, um, actually, uh, you know. And then we'll let you guys vote on, like, you know, who pulled it off type of thing, you know. Um, who came the closest to getting it to not look like total shit. I mean, I know mine's gonna look like shit. I'm terrible at it. In fact, I'm probably gonna half-ass it, half-ass it, because I'm fairly certain that that's gonna fuck up my wrist, hacking away at a fucking giant gourd. Gourd. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have incentives and stuff. We're setting our, we're setting our goal for like 5k. I think that's a reasonable, kind of a low ball, but also kind of like not like selling ourselves short type of thing. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be two days, the 27th, the 28th. If we reach the 5k, I'm gonna do, I've got this fucking piece of shit, like, Hannah Montana fucking karaoke game here. Okay, with fuck. I have another one that's like, all these shitty, like, fucking stupid, like, pop songs. Everybody's always asking me why I don't sing in Red Vox. You will find out why. If. If we make the goal. Which I don't know, for some people who know what it sounds like when I sing, they're gonna be like, man, that's that's actually that's that's like a reason to not donate. Okay. Yeah, shovel like stupid fucking shovelware like karaoke games I, I, I got. But um Fuck, I'm gonna do it. You're gonna you're gonna find out why I don't sing, okay? Um What else do I wanna get out there right now? Had a little, had some notes written down, but I can't even read my own fucking handwriting. Me and Jeff, we're gonna play this fucking shitty Bigfoot game that we've been looking forward to playing for a really long time. I think that's gonna be fucking fun. This game looks like such shit. Um, there's gonna be plenty of shovel. I'll be doing some shovelware for my fucking my my segment of the broadcast. I'm gonna be doing some spoop, you know, spoop shitties, spoopy poopies. I'm gonna going to call the segment spoopy poopies. Gonna have all these shitty fucking spoop games that you know that you've all bought for me over the years, just in one fucking solid block. I'll try to call them. I'll cu I'll curate them. I I'll, I'll play some that I've played before. Yeah, we might we might you know there might be disillusions, manga horror, and stuff that we've seen before that I that I know isn't you know gonna be a disappointment like fucking like the other night. Um, we've got like a Fortnite co-op uh, stream planned we're gonna play Fortnite. that game seems to be uh cool i'm sure you'll be seeing some other you know spoopy stuff like darkwood getting played just you know if you, anything that you can you could think of that's that's spoopy we'll probably be checking it out being that it's gonna be like yeah a halloween event um the monotonist is gonna be doing something really cool if anybody's familiar with that uh, sound boxing game it's basically um it's a vr game he's gonna be doing a vr stream uh, but he's gonna be doing, uh, it's like a rhythm game where you like, you punch the notes kind of a thing. It's really cool looking. I saw some video of it. Um, he's gonna be doing all kinds of, we're gonna have spoop music and stuff like that. We're gonna have a donation counter. We're gonna have all that shit. We're gonna try to come up with flash incentives and stuff as well. Solid baked. Um, all that stuff. There is already a Twitch channel, um, in place 
for it. I'm going to do a shout out for it right now. I'm sure now that the mods are, are turned on to this, this is the first time they're hearing about it too. We'll get some Mubot commands set up and stuff like that. Um, shout out. Let me see if I get this. Stream of Conscience. I think it's a, a brilliant a brilliant name for the for the event. Head on over to the channel, give it a follow. We'll all be it, it will it will be like how yes, the Vine Source PCRF they had they had a channel where everybody streamed on that channel. We're gonna do the same thing. It just makes the most sense. So check it out, follow it, have a good time, look at it, admire it. Um, there will be more details to follow. Um, we have a we have a website, uh, but we don't have it like set up yet. We're gonna get it all figured out, and then we'll have we'll have tons of shit moving forward. Uh, we made a we made a uh, Twitter account, but it's not there's nothing there yet. Like we got to get art for it and stuff yet. So, um, by the way, I mean if anybody wants to put something together, I've also com I've already commissioned a few other people, but. If anybody wants to, anybody, any artist looking for something to do, some promotional materials, it's called Stream of Conscience. It's a Halloween themed event. You got the dates. Take a crack at it if you if you feel like it. And if not, lick my ass. No, Mike, those are the kinds of jokes you can't make for the charity stream, Michael. You can't be you can't be doing things like that, Michael. You gotta you gotta clean it up a little bit. For the kids! It's for the kids! You know, for the kids! Just like the movie Food Fight, for the kids. You know, for kids! I believe... I believe it was... It was Norix... Who was interested in... Doing a Luigi's Mansion stream, uh, Dra Dragoon Me. You will be seeing... You will be seeing Luigi's Mansion at some point over the weekend. Alright, let's see what's going on with this fucking shit now. Michael, you enjoy the fireworks show? I've also prepared special gifts to go along with the event. I'd love for you to take one. A star bopper. Alright, so I got another star bopper. I'm gonna throw it on to get festive. How about I just put this fucking tarantula on my head? That'll be... That'll be something else. Great, so I got another one of these fucking things. I actually think that the pink haircut you guys got for me goes quite nicely with the the tux I'm wearing and stuff. I was going for that tuxedo mask look. Tuxedo with the with the mask? What do you think? Sure there's gonna be YouTube VODs. I also made a YouTube channel, but uh, it's not there's nothing there if you go find it. Um We're also gonna make some some videos moving forward to you know announce the uh the stream and stuff. Thank you for the bite, Panda Jammies. Much appreciated. Oh, uh, you could just put it in on uh, on my Buru for now. Thank you. That's awesome. Or uh, or email it to me. Any whatever, however you wanna you wanna do it. I don't have socks. That's not cool. I have Red's cookies, specially made with help from the Nooklands for the fireworks show. Every cookie's got a prize ticket, only costs 500 bells. You wanna buy one? I bet you would. Yeah, I'll take one. Thanks, cuz. Rip you off. Give me more cookies so I could just eat them all in one shot. I wanna fill my whole inventory with cookies. Eh. I want a, a whole inventory filled with cookies. I want fucking cookies coming out the earth. Yeah, the AFSP, um... American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. I keep fucking up the, the, the anagram while we're talking about it. I call it the AFPS and shit. I keep fucking it up. I gotta really, like, learn that before... <laughs> I just have a thing with, with anagrams where I keep... It's like a... Not a legit dyslexia, but like, I guess a kind of a, I don't know what's going on with it. It's, it's troubling. 
But we looked at a lot of charities, and we came to the conclusion that this, this was the one that felt... Like, I, I, was, I was wanting to do something that was, like, mental health-oriented. Um, but a lot of the charities that we had looked at for that felt like... You want to pick a charity where the paper trail is, like, transparent. And you could see what they're doing with the money that you give them. And for a lot of these, it was like, oh, what do you do? You just... It's like, oh, it's quote-unquote awareness. That doesn't really tell me, like, what you're doing with the money. But the AFSP, you could go look at, like, their quarterly fucking financial statements. Where they, they show you exactly, like, here's how much money we made that year. This is exactly where all the money went. And it's like, okay. It doesn't get better than that when you're trying to you're trying to pick a charity. You know, total total transparency. You know, the mental health thing was was important to me because I don't know, I, I've lived a little bit of that. I knew that whatever 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 it was, it, it had to have some some relevance to that. And I think that, yeah, the suicide prevention uh cause um, they, they do a lot of stuff that's, you know, that addresses the, si the symptoms of it, which is, yeah, I mean, who's, who's considering taking their own life, you know, I mean, it's either, you know, and I would say much, much less the case, it's like, well, fuck, I lost everything in the, in the, in the stock market or something like in the, like in the twenties or whatever, it's, no, it's people who are struggling with, Depression, anxiety, you know, your uh, or uh, the variety of other mental health issues that that are out there. So that that feels like something I could I could I could feel good about. So a little bit of the backstory on how on how uh, on how that specific charity was was chosen. You know, Superfly says the awareness charities are complete bullshit. I you know I didn't I didn't feel that way, but it's like. You, you, you could tell me that, but that means I want to know, you know, okay, that sounds okay. It's important for people to be aware of, of, of what, you know, what a specific uh, cause is about, what a specific thing is, is about. Like, you know, if you're, a lot of people don't know anything about schizophrenia. If somebody's schizophrenic, what, what is that? What does that mean? Does that split personalities? You know, it's, it's not really... There's so much misinformation out there to the point where you could you could justify like yeah they spend money on on awareness and education and things like that you know that stuff is important especially for you know if you're suffering with something like that the people in your life need to be um, they need to be aware of what it is that you're going through right and even something as simple as depression like when I was growing up and and I and I had you know I was I was suffering with that. Everybody just thought, like, you know, they would tell me, like, I was a fucking asshole, or I was lazy, or I was a bad kid, or, like, I was fucked up, and I didn't want to... Because, you know, sometimes when you're suffering from that, like, you wake up, and you, you can't get out of bed, and you can't do anything, and you, you, feel, you feel like fucking total shit. And the way people in, around you can interpret that, you know, and then reflect that back on you feels really fucking bad. But maybe if, if they were more aware of specifically what it was that you were suffering from, and, and, and why... You're feeling that way, and what comes with that territory of of suffering from that clinical thing, not like oh I'm a fucking lazy asshole. It's no, it's a clinical thing. That's better for them, and it's better for me. You get what I'm, you get what I'm saying? So awareness can be important, but there's nothing like having a charity show you exactly a play by play. Five thousand dollars went to this specific thing. Five thousand dollars went. Ten thousand dollars we spent on this specific thing. Okay. You can't beat that. And some of the other charities that I was looking at and I felt really good about did not have that. Really, this was like the only one that had that. So, you know, because you got charities like, you know, Zot pointed this out because Zot, you know, Zot's a vet. There's um, one of those really big veterans charities that uh, the fucking CEO goes home with like fucking like a million and a half dollars salary. So you tell me people that are donating money to that charity gets fucking a million and a half dollars goes to some fucking dude's salary? No, I want to go into the fucking veterans if I'm donating to a veteran charity. You see what I'm saying? So to just be like, oh yeah, fuck it. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's just awareness. They don't tell you exactly what they do with it, but it's it's awareness. It's like, hey, I don't know about that, man. Yes, give me another cookie. 
But we're going to be, um, you know, we're going to be talking a lot more about this moving forward and what the reasoning was and why why this stuff is the way it is and, and, and such. Yeah, give me another cookie, you fuck. I'm worried about the, the, the fucking the karaoke thing. I'm gonna sound like an asshole. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. Like, Vinny was worried about the Japanese karaoke, but it's like, dude, you know how to sing. But uh, I wanted it to be something that was like... People had, had been asking for and were like serious about. So, I don't know. Um, Tanichu says, I have mental health issues, but I also feel like a lazy asshole. Well, don't, I, I mean, I don't know. I think that that might be symptomatic of, of what you're, you're suffering from in, in a way. And one of the reasons that I wanted, I wanted to do mental health is because I feel like it would have, it would have resonated with, with, with Twitch community. Because like I said, you know, and I've talked about this before. I'm always getting emails about like, oh, Mike, you helped me out with with my depression or you helped me out with, you know, my PTSD or I suffer from this or I, I suffer from that. And, you know, yeah, I got a, I got a bunch of emails like that. And it's like, uh, I think it would have been important to the people that would have potentially donated money and been in the audience. But it was also something that was going to be super important to me because I sometimes there's, there's so much that like, I feel like I want to say to you, to you guys and you know maybe like it wouldn't it wouldn't really be like appropriate to to, 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 to freaking just say it because it's like because i have been through a lot of that stuff but i'm also not like a fucking therapist you, you, you know and that's why it might not it might not be the, the right you know i can't i can't i can't tell you like what i could say like what helped me and i and i have done that but I think the only thing that's really going to be helpful for, for a lot of people is to, to raise money for, for a cause that actually does something um, in, the, in the way of addressing it. Um, and listen, you know, I've said this before too, B. Zarky, it's a two-way street. You know, I'm not, my, my depression isn't over. It's not fucking behind me. It never really, you, know, you, don't, get, you don't get cured from, from that completely. I mean, I was... Having a hard time with it really, really badly this, this, just this week. And you guys have helped me through some, some horrific fucking times. As well. So as much, as much as you say that I've helped you, you've helped me like tenfold. So the only way I was going to, I was going to get closure with this, with this stuff was I think an event like this, a thing, a thing like, a thing like this. Okay. Eldrahun sub. Welcome to the family, Eldrahun. Thank you, buddy. Um. Iwi, uh, boy, he says one in 13 people suffer from some mental illness. I'll tell you what, as I was researching this, I saw so many stats and stuff that that blew my mind. I do. I I'm, I am gonna. I am gonna save it. I don't. I I should be streaming Animal Crossing now, so I don't want to fucking unload all this shit uh, tonight. I, I, there's there's a lot. There's a lot that we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about. Um, but I I saw some stuff, man. That that fucking like broke my heart. And it's like, if I can just, cause re remembering what that shit felt like when it was really bad. Okay, and knowing that some of you guys are out there right now feeling that that same shit. And if there's anything that I could do to maybe not make you feel like that a, a little bit, maybe again, like even if it's just with streaming a stupid video game or, or whatever, or if it's even just for a, a couple hours, like a night or, or whatever, um, and and also just let you know that like, you're you're not alone out there. You know, I mean, I remember like when I was when I was having a hard time with this shit. Okay, and it felt like really, and a lot. Some of you were gonna empathize with this. Some of you were gonna feel like you used to be able to empathize with this, but you got better. 
or, or whatever, or you, or you just, or you just got older and you, and you learned things about the, the world and, and shit like that. But it really felt like I was the only fucking person that, that, that understood what this was and nobody else was ever going to get it and how much that fucking sucked and how much I would sometimes sit there and, and I don't listen. Okay. Like, yeah, I, I I never I never sat there and like planned a fucking suicide, but I had the, the the thought like, hey man, maybe it might be like it might be better if I if I was dead. Like maybe that might be maybe that might be like all right. Maybe it'd be better if uh, if like I just wasn't even here. And what that felt like, and if I can if I can make some of you even for a little bit realize that. And that's not saying that's not trivial, trivializing your suffering or, or saying that you're the only person to go to go through that or 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 that yours is not unique or different from, from anybody else's. But there's there's people who've lived it, who who do understand it, and who know how to do something about it. Okay. And that's really important. That you got to realize that. There are resources out there and there are people that, that can help you. You just have to take the step to say like, okay, I want to get better and I can get better. Right? And I want I want to I want to raise money for for a cause that is involved with that. Okay? That felt like the right thing to do. But I mean, hey, you know, oh, he's great, hearts, hearts. It's it, there's a part of me, you know, I we streamers do this because it's it's a fun thing to do. It helps, you know, get you know exposure for their channels and things like that. It's a, you could go find there are, there are thousands of people doing it uh, on, on Twitch right now. Um, it's something that we we just we do. It's a thing that that's you know, obviously it's not. I'm, the, I'm not the first person to have an idea like this. I'm not the first person to do it. But, I mean, it's like, if I could do something that's, yeah, like, I, I'm helping grow awareness for this thing that's really important to me, but also awareness, like, for myself, it's like a fucking, a, a home run. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, don't, do, I'm not, I, I, it doesn't feel right for you to think like I'm some kind of fucking saint, because I, and I don't know, that doesn't, that doesn't feel right either. I don't know. You know, it's not, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't fucking know. I love you guys a lot. And, um, you've helped me through a lot of, a lot of bad shit. And this is, this was the, the, the least I could, and, and giving me money. Okay. All right. So yeah, I mean, keep it real. I'm a streamer. I'm trying. I'm doing a charity stream because people love charity streams. I want to break. I want to fucking break away from 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 you know the vine sauce. Like, just I'm I'm just a part of. I want to reach an audience outside of vine sauce. I said if I did it, maybe if it was a charity stream, that would help me do that. Right. But it's also a thing that I, I care a lot about. So. There it is. There's my there's my my fucking honest to god motivation. Give me another cookie. Oh, I don't have any space, you fucking asshole. Scrubfeg wants to know when the charity the charity stream is happening. The charity stream is happening October. I have to look at the calendar every time I do this. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna tell you the wrong shit. Um, October 27th and 28th. All right, let's eat these fucking cookies before I start crying over here. Shantae's not my wife food, dude. Get out of here with that shit. Let's see how many more dud prizes I get. Cause she's 16. Is she, is she though? Don't tell I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that. Nah, she's 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 legal. Come on. 
Thank you for the uh, resub, Cal Calzone. Welcome back to the family, Calzone. He wants to know who my waifu is. You're my waifu. You're my fucking waifu. And yeah, it's gonna be Halloween, uh, Halloween themed. Lots of spoop, spoop, spoopy poopies, spoops to be had. Fun times, pumpkin carving. It'll be some good shit. You're all my, yes, you're all my collective, collective waifu. If I could just mash all of you into one fucking big disgusting human being, creature, kind of thing, that's, my, that, whatever that is, that's, that's my waifu. Like some big fucking gross, like, flesh pile, like the thing, like John Carpenter's The Thing. It's all, it's all fucked up and like, and it's just got, it just leaks like blood and pus and semen. That, whatever that, that thing is, that's my waifu. I got a sub from Scrubfeg. I got a scrub, a scrub from Subfeg. Welcome to the family, Feg! Thank you so much, dude. Alright, so probably there's no reason for me to have a tarantula in my inventory, but I also don't want to get rid of it. You know what, I kind of always wanted a tarantula as a pet. I think a tarantula would be a cool pet, especially like... You ever see the big blue tarantulas? They're cool as shit. Now, I mean, I, I'd like to have one as a pet, but I wouldn't... First of all, okay, I think I'm done with pets in my life. I don't want, I don't want responsibility for another thing's life any, anymore. Like, after my dog, I think that, that, I think that's it. I think that's the last living thing I want responsibility for. It's the same reason I'm not gonna have kids. But the tarantula, I mean, they don't eat a lot. Like, I might be able to get away with feeding it, like, once a month or, 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 or something. But, um... They right. They don't. They don't really. They you, you could give them like a big like a mouse or something. They'll they'll eat it or like a big fucking cockroach or something. That's disgusting. Then I'd have to have cockroaches in my house. Yeah, I don't like it. I, I if I did have one, I wouldn't touch it. I would keep it in a, in a, in a cage somewhere in the corner of um you know my house. I would leave it. I would go look at him and be like, oh, that's cool. But I'd never take them out and pet them and, and, and like, you know, how you hold them and shit. Nah. Listen, it doesn't want my love. Okay? It doesn't need my, my love. It can want me. It can need me. But it'll never love me. And I think two out of three ain't bad for, for a tarantula. Alright, where am I going to put my tarantula? Do you think the spider might be interested in watching my character take shits? Yeah, I think it might. You, sir, shall be witness to the greatest event on Earth. Okay, my eight-legged friend. Let's move this out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Just so you get a nice view. You ready for this, my friend? I don't think you can handle it. Oh, he, he looks excited. He liked that. He liked that. Alright, well, I'm not going to be wiping my ass or washing my hands because uh, you can't do that in Animal Crossing. Somebody wants to know why the water in the tub is yellow. Because it's piss. It's piss. It's urine. Alright, so the spider is... um. Safe and sound in his new home. Good for him. See, the other reason that I wouldn't hold and pet the spider is, according to Carl Pilkington, spiders go bald when you touch them. Right? Like, the hairs come out. Like, it's meant to irritate predators. 
or something. I don't want this fucking thing to go bald. You know, I'd feel bad. But I would keep him in there. I'd look at him. I'd, you know, I'd feed him and shit. I'd probably watch him eat. You know, that'd be like watching, you know, be cool. Like a nature documentary, but in person. I want that. Wait a minute. No, I don't. I'm gonna have fucking... I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, have less shit in my pockets. Also, why didn't I just... Why didn't I offload all of this shit when I was over there? Once I see the fossils on the ground, I, I have to dig them up. I can't leave them there. It's like it feels it feels wrong to leave them there. Yeah, I have to I have to get them. I'm gonna just put them all away so I can have an empty inventory. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I unloaded a lot of shit, Professor, Professor Fishy. But, uh, I didn't unload a lot of the items in my inventory. Is the difference there. So let's try to get rid of some of it. Let's get rid of, uh, the pants. Don't need them. Don't need them. Get rid of them. Alright, this is my clothes tab. So I'm gonna put all the clothes in here. Um, get rid of that. Let's just put all the shit in here for the sake of making my life easier right now. And I'm gonna get rid of these coupons. All the du the dud coupons I'm gonna get rid of. Oh man! Oh, I did I did good on on coup coupons. Coupons or coupons? All right. All right, bud. I always get annoyed when they're walking around with the fucking. The tools in their hands it just kind of kind of pisses me off for some reason. I saw that was one of my beautiful hand-designed fireworks. Kind of wish my character could do a Naruto run. It's not a thing, sadly. How many of you know how to Naruto run? Hey man, I suck your dick for coupons, man. I suck your dick. Can't make that joke during the charity stream. You guys like to Naruto run? I think it's a terrible fucking idea. Saw this article um, on Twitter. Uh, apparently, uh, this weekend, thousands of people across the United States participated in uh, Naruto run events. People just go, like, they, they organize them on Facebook, and they get thousands of people to show up. It's like a flash mob type of thing, but it's just, like, hundreds of people running in, in, in the Naruto run in unison. They did it at your college, Luigi guy. It's not that cool. Yeah, stop. Stop. I mean, just, just to talk about a minute, like, just ha how bad of a concept the Naruto run really is. I think, think about it, okay? Let's, let's just fucking think about it for a second. You're, you're running, right? Presumably as fast as you can, okay? With your fucking, with both of, both of your arms, okay? Pointed behind you. With your face extended out in front of you. Right? So so if you fucking fall, you're gonna go down face first. Okay? If you trip, you're going down face fucking first. Okay? With your fucking arms behind you, so you can't, you know, stop your fall. Okay? You can't break your fall with your fucking hands. You're going down face first, you're smashing your fucking nose, your entire fucking face. Gonna get s fucking ground into the pavement because you wanted to run like an asshole in a fucking shitty anime. Alright? I just, the last part was just to be an asshole, but I, I, I'm sure it's, I never seen it, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure it's a wonderful anime. I, I, it's not fair. I don't. I don't know anything about it. I'm sure it's cool. I'm sure it's cool. Chill. 
But yeah, you're gonna smash your fucking face open, Naruto run. It's more like a no Ruto run. <laughs> Sonic ran like that as well in the in the games, right? In fucking he did it in, in Sonic Boom. Isn't, isn't that how he runs in Sonic Boom? They all run like that in Sonic Boom, don't they? It's fucked. Alright, just give me a sec. I have to I have to shoot a text message here real quick. Um, I have I have Game of Thrones plans tonight, so this can't go on too much longer. We know floppy, we know we know we know we know we know. Got floppy wieners to watch. Okay. Um. Just so you know, okay. No, just send the fucking... I, mean, I hate technology so much. What is this? Oh, hello. Shigen Diggin Scheist wants to know if I feel like the season's a bit of hot garbage. Um... I'll tell you what. I think that it's... Warm garbage. Like slightly above room temperature garbage is what I is what I think. Barely, barely slightly above room temperature garbage. It's not good. It's not it's not good. And we've talked about this. It's the fact that this um these fucking dudes don't have uh Papa George to hold their hand through the script writing process anymore. Not that he was actually holding their hand through a lot of it. He were, he did write some of the episodes, but it's like they were using the books as script. Like when that and I I did I did read all the books, the five books that are out. When that show was at its best, it was when the fucking the, the, the script was just straight up taken from the novels. And I'm talking about the events and I'm talking about the dialogue. Huge fucking deal. The dialogue. Part of the reason I fell in love with that show in the first place. Because I, I watched the first season before I read any of the books. Watching the first season is what got me to say like, oh, there's books. I want to check them out. Um, was the dialogue. It had the fucking best dialogue ever on television. Sorry. It's fucking brilliant. I love it. I love the way that the characters uh, interact with each other and everything. The way they speak to each other and... Their motivations and shit like that. And the stuff that's not... That's on scene. And the stuff that's implied and all that shit. And it's fucking... It's fucking great. It's great. Like I could sit there and watch a scene of dialogue that's like, you know... Tyrion and his father. That's like, you know, fucking like... 12 minutes long. And it's like... Just love it. And not be like... Uh, and be like on the edge of my seat. I don't need like a fucking dragon fucking breathing fire on like, you know, fucking... On zombies. Like, I... That, that's... That's not what I love about the show. Never was. Whatever. What do you got for me? It says, go fuck yourself, is what it says. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, cuz. You gotta read it in Red's voice. Alright, nice. Have a feeling I'm just gonna get all the same shit that I got last time. I got some bits from Captain Weeks. Thank you, Weeks. Black Bear CJ says GOT was never good. You didn't know, sit in there and just fucking talk shit about something I just said that I loved. Come on. You're better than that. You're better than that. Come on. All right, give me give me some more cookies, asshole. I'm gonna spend my whole paycheck on the fucking cookies. It's like I'm a fucking gambling addict. Need them cookies, man. Give me them cookies, man. I suck you dick for a cookie, man. What you got for me? 
No, don't put it on the ground, you shithead. You know what I've been really feeling lately is the Twitch, uh, th <laughs> the Switch Envy. Like, I really want to switch. Like, I said I was going to wait, but like, I don't know. I kind of want to play ARMS, like, now. I saw a really fucking cool, um, fan-made, uh, switch. Like, not a... You know, I was talking, I, uh, talking about how I wanted to wait to get a switch because I wanted, like, a much cooler, like, a swatch, a switch swatch. Right, or a bundle solid baked, right? I know, that's why I was holding off. Somebody, like, replaced the case of their Switch with, like, clear plastic. Like, I remember they used to sell, like, a Nintendo 64 that was clear plastic and, like, controllers that were clear, clear plastic. One of my N64 controllers at the time was, like, a clear plastic but, like, a lime green clear plastic color. You could see, like, all the fucking the circuitry inside the, uh, the controller. I love that shit. And somebody made, like, a, like you know, a, a homemade, like, version of it. Like, he somehow, you know, f maybe he used a 3D printer. I honestly don't know. But he got, like, the clear plastic and he replaced the plastic with it. And, like, the, the, the Joy-Cons have it. And, like, the back of the, of, the, of the tablet has it. And I'm sad that that's not official. Like, I would want that. And he's selling them. So you could buy one from him, I think on Etsy it said, you could just, you know, fucking put it on yourself. But I'm not gonna be fucking around with, like, you know, my brand new fucking Nintendo Switch, like, taking a screwdriver to it and all that shit. <sniffs> nah, I'm not doing that. If Nintendo did it, that'd be, that'd be a different story, right? But I'm not doing that, that myself, like, fuck that. Yeah, give me more cookies. I got a fever, and the only cure is more cookies. Someone in chat asked me about Black Mirror. I did watch the trailer. It looks awesome. Um, one of the episodes looks like it's going to be like a kind of like a Star Trek spoof, which looks really cool. Um, not a spoof, I would imagine, but like a take on some kind of Star Trek uh, universe type thing. Um, one of the episodes has like, you know, those really creepy like deer robots that they're making up at like MIT I think where it's like those gross like it's like a gazelle running around but it's like a it's like it's made out of like frames and, and, and shit it's like oh what is that like it's and the way it runs like it's got like um it's got like shocks and stuff so it runs really naturally a metal gear it's basically a metal gear uh chancellor of lights yeah it's basically a or a gecko essentially yeah and um it looks like one of the episodes like has that one of those things in it as like the boogeyman like like, like you see a lady running from one of them in a parking garage or something like that it looks fucking great boston dynamics vagabond king yeah so that looks like it's gonna I'm, I'm i'm hype i'm hype i really enjoyed the last season like i like a lot i loved the last season of black mirror what do you got more shit for me it says, fuck you, kid. Yeah. Lord Vestabot asking the important questions, but does it moo? <laughs> okay, it's either a dairy cow or it's a fucking gecko. Give me another cookie fucker. What's my opinion on Wiggy Wiggy Jed long dacking? I don't know what that is. Am I supposed to know what that is? Crispy Pit just noticed the art in the corner. Oh, it's just a little bit of uh, a little bit of Mr. Blobby fan art. Nothing crazy. I've been buying cookies for an hour. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of Totally wholesome PG Mr. Blobby fan art. Nothing weird going on here. Alright, give me one more cookie. Give me that fucking cookie, motherfucker. 
Oh, you know, just a little bit of nightmare fuel for you. Just a little bit. I mean, once you see it, Rever Siver, it's like, yeah, that's exactly what Blobby and his wife would, would, would do. While, you know, decorating their home. This is absolutely, this makes perfect sense to me. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing weird about it. Like, when I saw it initially, I was like, yeah, of course. Like, if that's, is there supposed to be something funny about this? This is fucking normal. Like, who, who would have, who would have thought anything else but, but, but this? Find or start a conversation. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Oh, that's Discord. <laughs> Oops. Hey, can you not be up there? Yeah, let's... How did that get there? And there's another one? How the fuck did that get there? Man, I hate Discord. Alright. It's time to eat this cookie and exchange my tickets. I do think the Blobbies sell their homemade furniture on Etsy. Kudos, I do. Well, you know what you could get on Etsy? You could get a replica of the... I, be I believe it was a lampshade that the serial killer Ed Gein had made from the flesh of one of his victims. Alright, they sell that on Etsy. So I don't see any reason why you can't get blobby furniture on Etsy. Alright. Hey man, you should just let me exchange all the tickets at the same time, dude. That'd be super awesome. I, I, I'm pretty sure I already have an Ultra Machine. Motherfucker. Yeah, I think I have all these dumb things already. Shit. Oh, so I looked into, um... Publishing my BuzzFeed articles. You know those BuzzFeed article ideas that I, that I had? I looked into it and, um... Apparently they have standards <laughs> for what they will as to what they will accept. I know, surprising. Yes, solid bait. The ultra machine is in fact a Sibian, which I actually have a use for back at the house. I'll show you guys in a second if you haven't seen my my studio. Yeah, they have standards. Um. <laughs> So no, the um the my article idea that I had. Uh, tell us what kind of porn you jack it to, and we'll tell you which Ben 10 transformation you are. Is not gonna fly over at BuzzFeed. Yeah, apparently that's below their editorial standards. Meanwhile, I saw this article the other day. Design an Airbnb, and we will tell you what Game of Thrones house you are. I didn't take the test, but we, I, we don't need to get into this again. It's just, if I'm gonna, then I'm gonna start yelling. I don't think you want me to start yelling. I don't want to start yelling right now, okay? I don't want to start yelling. Come on. What do you got for me, baby? Duds. A lot of duds. And what was the other one I had? I had a good, I had a good, another good idea. What was the other good idea I had? There were two that I liked. It's an Airbnb ad, detective. Yeah, fuck. No, no, Mike, don't, not tonight. Keep it chill tonight, dude. Don't, don't yell. Don't get mad. No, I'm not letting the Italian rage flow. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like opening the marinara sauce floodgates tonight, dude. Not in the, not in the mood, man. I fucked up Daryl Hall's uh, Final Fantasy XIV raid. <laughs> Sorry, dude.
Where's Oates, by the way? I'm sure he gets asked that every time somebody fucking uh, addresses him in chat. Oates. What is Oates' first name? Daryl Hall is that. It is the, it is that Hall, right? That Hall and Oates. That Hall. What is his first? John? I feel like it's a J name. John. It, it is John. I knew it. I should have just went with that. I should have just said it. And if I was wrong, fuck it. Whatever. We all have like this fucking... This... This... This fear of being wrong sometimes with with things. I think we gotta we gotta get over that. It's oats oats dingo says. <laughs> so they're <laughs> so it's like fucking Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. Hey, this is uh I'm John Oats and this is my brother Oats Oats. Now I'm Oats Oats and he is my brother John Oats. Yeah, that that makes more sense. Yeah, you know, I mean, you could be wrong sometimes. It's not a... Who, who cares? You're allowed to be wrong. God knows I'm fucking wrong constantly. It hasn't, you know, demolished my fucking sense of self-worth. Some of you will, 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 will fucking fight f flame wars in a YouTube comment section for fucking days before admitting you were fucking wrong about something. It's fucking madness. It's actually part of the re part of the fucking problem with like politics, but let's not fucking go there. Just fucking bullshit. Fancy cannot admit that they were wrong about something. Black Bear enabled to admit I'm I'm never wrong. You see that? You know how you know, on becoming that is. Pride before the fall. That's right. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Believe it. Wamba says they're wyverns, not dragons. That's the timeout. And next time you say that to me, it's permanent ban. Thank you for the bits. Oh, fish facade. Uh, he says the leather store is two blocks down. What? Do I want to know? Fish facades. You like that on Twitter? That um, that dude. I was in. Yeah, I was in Manhattan last night, and I saw this like street a busker. Buskin makes me feel good. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And he was buskin. And he was buskin like he was a he was a, this was a dude who obviously was a was a drummer. Thank you for the um the bit snarky. Don't defend him. What you think it's okay to defend him because you gave me money? <laughs> and yeah, he was he was uh this was a homeless guy who, yeah, might have had, might have had something going on. Um, yeah, he might have been, uh, he was, he was, so he would do like a couple of measures. Like he would just kind of solo for a couple of measures with garbage, by the way. Okay. He had fucking, they were, there were no drums. It was garbage. All right. Like he had, he had a frying pan. He had a an empty like like a a postal a postal box like a postal service box. He had a bucket. He had like um pieces of scrap metal that he was just banging on and doing all this fucking cool shit. It sounded it, he was getting like great tones out of a lot of this shit. Like he had his foot on one of the pieces of pieces of metal. He would like hit it with the stick to get it like a like a you know like a kind of like a like a timbery like a cymbal type sound. And then he would then he would step on it to mute it. So he would use it for like a fucking like the sound of like a hi hat opening and closing, or like if he needed like a cymbal catch type of thing. It was really fucking cool. And um, he would do like he would just like kind of solo for a couple for a couple measures, and then he would just. He would just talk to himself for a little bit. And then he would solo for a couple measures. And then he would just kinda at one point at one point um took out a Bible and put the Bible on the bucket and was like doing like a playing playing like a, a, a rhythm with one hand. 
like in between reading out like Bible verses. I'll tell you what. Inside the box where people were putting money, all right? That dude that fuck that day, that dude probably made more money than I than I do in like a month. This fucker, I looked in there, I gave him I gave him 2 bucks. I looked in there. It was fucking filled with dash and it wasn't all singles. I saw 10s in there, I saw 20s in there. So this, this this dude made fucking bank doing that. All right, what do we got? It's all tax-free earnings, Muncho points out. Maybe I should start busking. Busking makes me feel good. Yeah, I'll just fucking, I'll just go sit down and like bang on a bucket, a chum, a chum bucket, a chund bucket. Thank you for the bits, Procuriosa. Thank you for coming. Um, you, uh, you know, you, che you cheered me up tonight too. All right, I'm gonna come back later. Probably not. Fancy wants to know if you need a permit to busk. I have no idea. I can't imagine all the people that I that I see busking have permits. Honestly. In New York City. This was a cool stream because I made a tarantula. I, I forced the tarantula to watch me take a shit. I also got some boss to the gym bits from Fish Facade. Let's see if I can proc my fireworks a couple more times. Come on, proc it. Come on, proc. Yeah, we got Squan Dog. Beans! Two in a row! Give me Give me the Mr. Dink Dick. I mean the the, the 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 one that came with the game that I totally didn't even make. I seen the boss of the gym video and I know what it is. I got a sub from Wiminska. W Y M N X A. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm get I'm getting I'm getting Welsh language vibes from that. Welcome to the family, Wiminxa! Thank you so much for the sub. Alright, we've seen enough of the dink dick. Well, hello, Douglas! It's my big purple dick in the sky! <laughs> yeah, beans! Yeah! We also got some beans going. Oh, yeah, beans is in the chat. Yeah, beans! Yeah! Good to see you tonight, man. Oh, this is the wrong... The wrong room, but let's just take a quick... Quick pop in, see how the tarantula's doing. Huh? One more turd for the road, my friend. Where whiskey loves my sonic impression. I, I hope you do, because you're going to be hearing a lot of it come Tuesday. <laughs> a lot of it isn't... A, a lot of it I'm not going to have control over. Alright, let's get these ultra machines out here. Wait a minute, are these all these are all duds, motherfucker. Ultra hand. Oh my, that's that sounds like it definitely belongs down here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, that, yeah, that thing. Yeah, that thing definitely has a place down here. The love tester. Yep, that easily belongs down here. That could be the fluffing machine. The love tester is just in, in quotation marks. You know, the love tester, quote unquote. Um, I think it would be better to do the video, uh, the movie night on Saturdays, Vidja Beams, yeah. I think it would be best if we did it Saturday. I'm still trying to figure that out. 
All right, what else we got? The 10 billion barrel. All right, that could be like a, you know, a, lo a load, a load canister. <laughs> a load canister, yeah. A load canister. That's great, that's for when we need to do those like, inside shots, you know what I mean? Inside shots. Fuck my life. What's this? Fuck out of here. I see a space for it. Put it down. The boxed figurine. That could be useful for one of those... Oh shit, I'm trapped in here now. HELP! HELP ME! Yeah, another canister. Fuck! Mm. Why? How big is this thing? Jesus Christ, how big is this thing? Come on. Did I, like, reach the furniture limit for the room? Clark was here, asks, Mike, is this a porno set? What? No. What are you fucking... What are you talking about? What you on about, Mike? I reached the furniture limit for the for the room. Yeah. Looks like I did. Thank you for the bite, Fish Facade. He's got a juice box, but no straw to open it. Well, sounds like you're fucked. You couldn't fit that thing down there? Whatever. I got too much junk in the trunk. All right. That's the stream. I do got to I do got to call it there. I think we should check out the art a little bit. Someone in the chat said they had they had made art tonight, so let's take a look uh, on the Buru real quick. Okay. I do see some art. I see some new things. Here's something from Bubba Fair. And it is not minimizing. It's not getting smaller and it's pissing me off. T Bone Stefan. He's a meat sona. Which, by the way, I have to make a fucking. Pr oh, I have to make a fruit sona tonight. Mm. Joff the team man here. He says, thanks for a great first stream. Thank you for coming tonight. Man. Doesn't like being reminded he has no arms. Thinks that the game theory episode about pet scop is the best video ever made. Recurring nightmares about being trapped in a giant metal structure. It slowly gets hotter. Being cooked. Is allergic to cats, but dreams of being a cat nanny. Here what is my own armor gym up. Where? Cowork though, please. Thank you very much. It's lovely. Oh, Bubba Fair, thank you. Something from... I'm going to try to get through this quickly. D-Dude. And it's a... It's a it's a fruit sona. Star Fruit Sabrina. He broke the first rule of fruit sona. No alliteration. No alliteration allowed. Disqualified. Nah, it's lovely, man. Thank you. Here's one from Star. Apple Albert. No defining features. Star, what the fuck? Star, this is Star trying to get banned. This is when people do things in communities like in a, in a fucking express effort to get banned, like just to be edgelords. Here you go, folks. Here's something from Lord Dickfist, and I don't quite understand it. It says... It's it. Where where did it go? It says oof, and it's a person with my mask plastered all over his face. Does anybody? Is this a meme that I don't know anything about? Here's some art from C W Rocks for the charity. Stream of Conch Sense, starring. 
your favorite streamers. It is lovely. We'll probably be getting some use out of this. We would get more use out of it if you spelled this correctly. But uh, it's a nice first attempt. Looking forward to the modified version. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to real quickly see if there's anybody I can host. Um, if my browser wants to not be a fucking cunt. Come on. Don't be, don't be a cunt. Oh, Sick Today already made the... Uh, the Mubot command. Awesome, sick. Thank you so much. There it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Stream of Conscious. Oh, sick. Uh, today chari already made charity, the, uh... charity stream on the 27th, 28th. All the info's there. Uh, there will be more info uh, forthcoming, so stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter if you don't already do so. That's I'm sure we'll, I'll be talking about it there. Um, yeah, and check out the YouTube channels while we're at it. Full stream, highlights, fun stuff. Thank you, sick. I'm going to host... I'm going to send you all over to Ima Cooney. I don't know what she's streaming right now. Metroid Prime, that'll be fun. Alright, so send her my warmest regards and have an awesome night. Lots of love, everybody. I got some dragon ladies to catch up on in the meantime, so... Have an awesome night. I will see you all tomorrow from Metopia. Bro!